Welcome back to the Justice Factor. Former ANC Youth League President Julius Malema this week told the Polokwane Magistrates Court that there was a conspiracy against him. He said, and I quote, President Zuma has done everything to make sure that I lost everything. We tried farming, they come and take away everything. Julius Malema joins me now to discuss this and what his new political party may stand for. Julius Malema, welcome to, welcome to the show. Um, what conspiracy is this you're talking about? Look, uh, you know, when uh, the farm was to be sold, Sarset said to me, uh, we are getting into an agreement, a compromise. Mm. And uh, we agreed. And uh, unfortunately, the farm appeared in the city press the Sunday after the big rally of the ANC in, in Debe. And they said that was a political contestation which was continuing. Tuesday, they called the officials of SARS, and uh, my colleague was told that actually the principals are complaining about the continuation of this farm being in the papers and this man continuing to work in that farm. So we're left with no option but to sell it. I'm using that as an example of a concerted effort to discredit me but also to close me out so that I do not have the means of generating income but also an existence in society and become irrelevant with the hope that I will disappear. But that doesn't sound like a conspiracy to me. It sounds like you didn't pay tax and you owe SARS money and therefore SARS has the right to take property to pay for that shortfall in your tax. No, no. Uh, the SARS story is a long story that uh, uh, will not finish with you in this uh, 14 minutes. The no, SARS but, story... But, but the, the reality is that if I owe SARS and I've owed SARS money, yeah. uh, I owe SARS money and, I, and SARS says, you owe a million rand or you owe two million or 16 million rand, SARS will say, I will come and attach movable property. After the movable pro property, immovable property. So the fact of the matter is that you, you didn't or you fell short on your tax and SARS is taking up that, that money. No, it's no, not no, a conspiracy. No, 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 no. SARS, I owe SARS mm -hmm. and I make arrangement with SARS to pay mm -hmm. them and they agree in principle that this is how you will pay us, this is how much you will pay us mm. and then they come back and say the political principles do not agree. Uh, uh, you've got criminal charges that people sit in Cape Town make an arrangement of uh, ensuring that Malema gets arrested within two weeks. They arrest you, they take you to court, they are never ready to prosecute you. When they tell the judge we are ready to prosecute you, some of them are questioning witnesses the same day you are sitting in court. Now, I, I, I'm saying to you that you, you are disputing that you could be responsible for these actions. One, you didn't pay tax. If, if SARS acts against you, it's because you didn't pay tax. If there are, are criminal charges against you, it's not as if Jacob Zuma said, oh, um, these, these are things that you... This is not making it up. No, there, there was a meeting in Cape Town mm -hmm. where Jiba attended, where it was agreed that Malema must be charged. SARS, here is the money. This is how we're going to pay each other. SARS gets engaged in those types of processes every day. And, uh, and uh, uh, when we're sitting there without... So why is yours a conspiracy and not, not the same as others? I mean, it's dealt with differently because there's different political interference. Uh, I agree with SARS on the process. Mm -hmm. They come back and tell you, that political principles do not did agree. You sign this, but how did you can sign that agreement to them? That, okay, because they make you sign, and you sign that, that, okay, I will pay this much, and so forth and so forth. No, once you agree with SARS in mm. principle, mm. then you go and make those compromises in paper and make a submission. They will have to respond to you. So did you sign? No, they respond to you, and then in that way it is an agreement. When you agree in principle and you make a submission of compromise, the compromise comes negatively because it was intercepted in between and it was declined. Uh, look at uh, the criminal charges. People take three months to secure a date for a trial. We go and sit and argue the whole day and they tell the magistrate how difficult it is to get a, a date of a trial because they must speak to this one, this one must speak to that one. But and you then convince when, them to get it within 24 hours. I mean, uh, when you finish a court at 5 o'clock, the magistrate says, we are meeting again at 8 o'clock in the morning to finalize this matter because they realize the magistrate is going to kick this thing out in less than 24 hours. In the evening, office hours are closed. But they you have not drawn the line between you 
they get uh, between their this conspiracy. You. What's the conspiracy? Why is Jacob Zuma accused? You didn't pay tax. You uh, acted in all these companies. Jacob Zuma didn't, but you're accusing him of, of conspiring against you. This is a political interference. It doesn't matter whether uh, but I you was can't involved. Prove it. I'm trying to prove it in court, and that's why I brought it up in court. And that's why I've raised all the issues but I've raised. But you haven't proffered any, co any evidence that this was a conspiracy? No, I've led evidence. And uh, evid I mean, uh, 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 evidence will be produced as well as to why do we come uh, from. Uh, in with 2008, you uh, said uh, you will shoot to kill for Jacob Zuma. Today, in your uh, statement on the 11th of June, you're saying he is leading a kleptocracy. That essentially that this government is, uh, is a bunch of thieves and will continue thieving, uh, according to your statement. What happened between you and President Jacob Zuma? Look, uh, we are worried that uh, other people who disagree politically have been persecuted and chased in defense of uh, uh, thieves that continue to enjoy privileges in government. Uh, and we think that that needs to be exposed and uh, we need a government that will continue to be uh, responsible and not harbor criminals. Yeah, and I'm it's not about what happened between me and President Zuma. It's a matter of principle. I've got no problem where, uh, personally with uh, President Zuma. He's got a very good personality, but I do not agree with a uh, uh, leadership style. I've had an opportunity to know President Zuma from when I was 19, 20 years. And I know that uh, when you meet him as a person, he's a very good person. But Is when it perhaps? comes to issues of... Uh, is he personally corrupt? I think so. Uh, I mean, uh, to engage in all the activities that we know, uh, Nkandla, the Gupta relationship, and uh, the untested allegations which he refused an opportunity to go and prove them in a court of law, points to a direction of a corrupt individual. One could say that uh, this is the pot calling the kettle black. Um, you have, in many instances, been exposed by newspapers, not by Jacob Zuma, by newspapers, as living the high life, your Santon house, the farms, the big cars, on a salary that was below 50,000 rand as an ANC Youth League president. I'm a businessman. I'm in business. I thought and, you received and, your money from charities, not No, from I'm in business. And uh, uh, scrutinizing salaries of people who are not in government, it, it must be very unethical of you. You can't be happy to, for people to parade your pay slip. Even, you the, you even, you even the salary you are referring to is incorrect. So my salary has got nothing to do with you because I'm a private citizen who was working for a non-governmental organization. But I'm not your leader. I'm not your leader. Those that I lead, those that I lead will tell me how much do you earn, how do you make your living. Mm. Your sal my salary mm -hmm. has got nothing to do with you. In the same way, I will never ask you of your salary but, and how you make your you money. Have influence, if you have influence over, over government entities and you're the leader of the African National, or a leader of the African National Congress Youth League, surely it becomes You have never tested that influence. That's what you talk about with your friends over a bottle of something. <laughs> it's an unfounded <laughs> allegation of influence. You can't prove it. So, uh, do, you, so or do, do you not do, have influence? Do, I, don't have influence. Of the no, I don't have influence. When yeah. you look at people walking, mm. you don't look at how they walk and conclude that this one is very influential. Test the influence. That the influence this be this is the gist of the accusations against you in your criminal trial, that you used your influence to, get, to push money away from uh, legitimate people who might do the work to Let's companies that... Let's test them. That's why we're saying bring it on. Let's test them. Those unfounded allegations with the aim of discrediting a young person, for me, is not a confirmation of influence. Why are they not bringing these things to attention? Even the date they've given us, uh, Justice, was a backdoor postponement. They give you a date of 10 days mm. in a trial that involves 11,000 papers, 68 witnesses. They know that that trial will not be concluded in 10 days. But because they wanted a postponement to continue with the investigations, they had to go and thumb sack a date and secure it in order to secure a postponement. Then, then we'll see your case in court. Why have you decided to consult people to, with a view to forming a political party? Look, uh, the, the ANC is, uh, has degenerated. Um, I think we are holding into a name called the ANC. Uh, I think it's a former itself. It's no longer what it used to be. 
It's not the ANC of Oar Tambo, Tabo Mbegi, Nelson Mandela. It has become a, an enemy of the people. It acts in the interest of a white monopoly capital. And uh, we need uh, to engage in a process and find a solution as to what is to be done. Many people have said, no, this is an act of self-preservation. You're using this. You're saying to the ANC and to Jacob Zuma in particular that, look, I've got some support. If you don't bring me back into the ANC, I'm going to unleash it. Is that no, it? I've said to the ANC, take me back without making, talking about parties. Now I'm talking about a process which doesn't include in its options. There's no option that says take Malema back will remain in the ANC. We um, are advancing an alternative program. We want expropriation of land without compensation. We want nationalization. We want to bring the dignity of black majority in South Africa where back. Where has expropriation and of land without compensation worked? No, it doesn't mean if it doesn't work anywhere, mm. it can't work here. And for me, it has worked uh, in Zimbabwe. Mm. Uh, they are very successful. And capital has ensured that it sabotages that political program because they did not agree with it. But the resilience and determination of Zimbabweans has ensured that Is at that least we, we now have, start uh, we looking at them. We have an estimated 2 million, 3 million Zimbabweans living in South Africa. How many Nigerians do we have here and they have not taken the land? Way less. So why do you Way want less. to talk like Zimbabweans are the only people in South no, Africa? No, no. Zimbabweans no, you are, are using not. that number no, no, to justify no, no, a political I'm to you, disagreement. I'm saying to you, Compared to Nigeria, Zimbabwe is uh, that, that is why it's on the agenda. At Sadek at AU at all these forums because but, it's a basket but case. But don't use, don't use the Zimbabweans in South Africa to justify a disagreement with a political stance. When there you are a lot of foreigners in South Africa, not only Nigerians, Italians, and 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 the, the when, English. So it must <laughs> never be reduced to a Zimbabweans. When, when you marched uh, in support of the same principles, expropriation, nationalization economic freedom, as you call it. Only 5,000 people turned up. Uh, people celebrated when you expelled from the ANC. When you are appearing in court this week, it wasn't as full as when you were a member of the ANC. Where's your support going to come from? Uh, I don't know if you are there to take a roll call of those who must. When you come here and want to talk like you're a specialist of numbers, F you, have, you are not a specialist 5, 000, of numbers. 5,000 is the it, number. It That's the number. 5,000 people confirmed by those who organized that match. <laughs> you were very far. You were watching from a TV and don't speak was, with I an was, authority. I was actually, I was actually don't speak with authority. Was actually don't speak with authority. But where is your support going to come from? you were taking the role where call. Did you, you were take never it? there. Did you take we were the there. We are, we are you the didn't ones. take we, a role call. We organized call. the buses. Where's your we support? know how many uh, buses were there and uh, each bus carries where how many is people. Your support? We where's are the only authority which can tell you how many people you're were not there? An, you're so, not an authority. Where is how your can support? I not be authority of a match I was leading justice? No, but, Don't talk about other people's things. I, we I are was, telling I you. Was in we there are were telling no more you, than 5, we are telling people. you about our march. It was 25,000. Thank 000, you very much. How you must, how, you must uh, begin to your, appreciate that. Okay, I know you don't support? like that. 25,000. <laughs> You know, it's hating you. So it's not hating me so, at so, so don't Where discredit is your support mind. coming from? Our support is the South African masses and, and, and the black majority who still don't feel welcomed in their own country. Mm -hmm. We want to fight for their dignity. We want them to walk with confidence where, and where claim is the, the land. Money, where is the money? How are you going to there's, fund this? There's because no you're money. Saying... You know, we don't have money. You were talking about taxes and properties. Mm -hmm. We are walking peasants. We don't have anything. But the only thing we have is our souls and determination we, and the political will mm. to take our people out of fear and intimidation of the white supremacy. And once that will is there, the money is second. White our African brothers or, or will help by us. Jacob Zuma, uh, uh, you seem to have... Uh, is this, uh, no, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's Jacob Zuma you're talking about or white supremacy. I'm talking about white supremacy, which the ANC led by Zuma has encouraged. Mm. The enemy has gained more confidence by against the, the oppressed majority. Our people don't enjoy this freedom. We want our people to enjoy this freedom and we want our people not to behave like they are stepchildren in their own country. Kenny Gunene, is he going to be a member of your party? Is I don't speak to on behalf of Kenny Gunene. I think your colleagues here should have his number. Call him, please, and ask him those questions. <laughs> Julius Malema, good luck with your new Thank party. Thank you. Thank you, brother. After the break, we slam our two losers of the week. Stay with us. News that moves. ENCA.com.